Elmhurst College is in the midst of the most dynamic period in its history. Over the last decade, the college has added faculty, expanded enrollment, and enhanced the campus. Our academic reputation has grown dramatically. Today, Elmhurst is attracting students in record numbers who are eager to engage actively in learning and to prepare for lives of purpose, meaning, and achievement. The campus community is determined to advance its impressive recent progress. The Elmhurst College Strategic Plan of 2009 to 2014 calls for the faculty and administration to build an institution of genuine distinction among the small colleges in the Chicago area and beyond. To reach this goal, the college intends to grow convincingly in quality and impact, and to achieve a higher level of service to our students and society. Toward this end, the strategic plan calls for the college to renovate and expand the Arthur J. Scheibel Science Center. Opened in 1966, Scheibel must be enlarged to accommodate the swelling number of students majoring in the sciences and health-related fields. It also must be transformed to support new styles of teaching and learning. The Science and Health Initiative at Elmhurst College is an ambitious effort to provide Elmhurst students and faculty with a new state-of-the-art science center. The renewed center will increase educational and professional opportunities for a new generation of exceptional students. What's more, it will allow Elmhurst to address one of our society's most pressing challenges, a serious and worsening national shortage of scientists and healthcare professionals. Elmhurst College is ideally positioned to meet this challenge. Our academic programs in the sciences and healthcare are renowned, innovative, and growing. More than one third of our graduates pursue careers in the sciences or a related healthcare field. Over the last five years, the number of science and health majors at Elmhurst has increased by 20%. The Science and Health Initiative will enable Elmhurst to address our society's growing need for scientists and healthcare professionals who are competent, compassionate, and committed to the most important work of our time. In short, the initiative will allow Elmhurst College to be a more vital source for good for our students, our society, and the world. Elmhurst has a long tradition of innovation and excellence in preparing students for leadership in the sciences and health professions. Across the disciplines, our students benefit from Elmhurst's distinctive style of teaching and learning. It's personal, hands-on, and high-tech, all at once. Elmhurst is an awesome place to study science, primarily because the professors here actually are actively involved in the learning process. You're not a number, you're an actual person to them, you build a relationship with your professor, and they are genuinely interested in your progress. The professors um, have been able to recognize me and recognize my strengths and kind of just um, really draw that out of me and uh, allow me to grow in, um, from it. Um, I've heard of other students who, who have transferred from large schools and I think that made a huge difference for them that they no longer lost in the crowd. The close collaboration between our students and faculty extends well beyond the classroom. Side by side, in the lab and in the field, our students and faculty engage in important research. They study the metastasis of cancer cells, the epidemiology of the West Nile virus, memory retention in older adults, and countless other topics. They work together to find original solutions to problems new and old. Research for us, uh, working with students, is really part of the teaching function. Uh, some of us think of it as the capstone, where students reach the stage now where they can actually work on projects where there's not a textbook answer. There's almost no way that students can get into graduate school without doing uh, research. And so I have had research, um, I've had students uh, work with me for years and usually I have four to five students uh, who participate in my research. And they actually do exactly what I do. The rewards that the students reap out of working on a problem of seeing their name in print, by publishing in a journal, by doing something that they know nobody else is doing, that is just like the Visa ad says, there's, there's no quantifying that, right? It's, it's, it's priceless. <laughs> so that's the experience we're trying to aim for, a small college doing big science. Students traditionally have experienced science learning as a long string of classroom problems, where the teacher already knows the solution. The Elmhurst experience is different, Students and faculty work together on important problems for which nobody knows the answer. They work to learn exactly how something works. They advance the frontiers of knowledge. For an undergraduate, 
It's a tremendously empowering experience. I spent this past year doing collaborative research with Dr. Stacy Raimondi, and we're actually doing research on breast cancer metastasis. So we basically looked at a protein that is inhibited in aggressive breast cancer cell lines, and we're trying to see if this inhibition is actually what leads to metastasis. Um, we've been doing it for a year now, and we've just received funding for a live tissue lab, so we'll be continuing our research next year. And um, hopefully, if our research proves to be what we hypothesize, um, it could actually have some fairly large ramifications for the treatment of this specific type of breast cancer. What's exciting about this is that her research actually is kind of on the front line of breast cancer research at the moment. Nobody's ever been playing around with any of these things. And it's really, really interesting and very fulfilling, I think, to actually be involved in something that's never been done before, that's completely novel. And it's really interesting that you can actually have that sort of um, opportunity here at Elmhurst College. Before I chose to go to Elmhurst, I was looking at a lot of the bigger schools, and I really realized you have these giant classes where you don't exactly have the interaction with the actual teacher. And at Elmhurst, I was able to have that with Dr. Raimondi. And as a sophomore, I was really able to get to know her young. And this really led me to decide what I want to do early. And it also led me into the research that we're doing now. I'm a hands-on learner. I really learn by doing. Theory, granted, helps you along the way. But when you actually can do it, and make a mistake along the way, say, you really learn from that, and you can take that along with you, those learned techniques, into the professional world. Um, some people don't know how to run Western blocks. I've done that here at Elmhurst College. I know how to do that and to apply it. Some people have never um, made a knockout strain of bacteria. I've done that here at Elmhurst College. I know how it, the process goes through. So I can actually apply that in the professional field. For students across the disciplines, the Elmhurst experience starts with a straightforward question. What will you stand for? We ask it for the first time at New Student Orientation. Our students hear it expressed in different ways throughout their Elmhurst careers. The question suggests a whole philosophy of education that informs the Elmhurst experience. Our goal is to educate the entire student for life in a global society. We're a liberal arts college, and so we generate well-rounded students, students who have experience in uh, social issues, policy, religion, all sorts of different aspects. So obviously we want to train them to be good scientists, but also to be well-rounded individuals. The Center for the Health Professions is a unique part of the well-rounded Elmhurst experience. It's an invaluable resource for students who intend to pursue careers in healthcare. The Center connects students with the people, resources, and experiences they need to make their dreams a reality. It teaches teamwork and asks students to reflect on the ethical dimensions of their work. It challenges students to discover not just what they want to do, but who they want to become. You need the science, but you need the humanity as part of it as well. And Elmhurst College does a good job on that combination. We offer for our science students who are in their labs mixing their chemicals and culturing their bacteria and so forth, we've g developed opportunities for them to study the ethics of science, the ethics of health care, to learn about communication, how do providers interact with their patients or clients and so forth. Through the center and the academic departments, Elmhurst students enjoy a world of academic and professional options. They take courses at Argonne National Laboratory, the Morton Arboretum, the Illinois Institute of Technology, and Brookfield Zoo. They do internships at the Shedd Aquarium, Abbott Laboratories, and Fermi National Accelerator Lab. They complete clinicals at Elmhurst Memorial Hospital and the Mayo Clinic. They lead summer programs for high school students at Dartmouth College and examine issues of life and death at the National Center for Ethics in New York City. They study the ecology of the Hawaiian Islands firsthand and visit academic institutes in Paris, Rome, Berlin, Munich, and Salzburg. Our nursing program provides a classic example of the multiple strengths of the Elmhurst experience. In the Dyke Center for Nursing Education, students work alongside faculty with advanced degrees and profound professional experience. They benefit from early practice with the most advanced technology. For many nursing students, the first patient they encounter is Simman a high-tech approximation of a living, breathing human being. 
Hundreds of thousands of people are hurt by medical errors. Uh, and we want to make sure that Elmhurst College nursing students are the safest they can be when they go out to practice. And part of that means being able to practice nursing in a situation where it's completely safe. And you do that with simulation equipment. You provide the students uh, with equipment where they are required to make decisions in real time about providing safe patient care. But the patient, if you will, is a machine that is programmed with a computer to respond to the student's decisions. And so it's a fabulous, safe learning environment where students think in real time, have to make decisions that are have consequences. Nursing students at Elmhurst prepare alongside students with a wide range of professional goals, including pre-med, pre-pharmacy, speech-language pathology, and many more. The result? Nursing graduates who are fully prepared for leadership roles in today's interdisciplinary healthcare teams. What they teach us here at Elmhurst in the, in the nursing program is that nurses are, are clinical leaders. You're not, you're not just treating the patient at the bedside, you're a manager of care. You're making sure that you're working with the interdisciplinary team. So you're working with a physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech pathologist, you're working with uh, social workers, uh, and you're working with all these resources and you're making sure that that patient has all those resources available. And that takes leadership. You, you can't uh, go into a, a meeting full of these interdisciplinary members and not have confidence and not know what you're doing. And leadership is very important because then you're able to sit down and not command but facilitate. Uh, hear the input of every individual and then uh, bring that information together, put your input, and then help make a decision together. So team leadership as opposed to the old school mentality of I'm the boss, I tell you what to do, and then things get missed and people can you know, get injured or die indirectly because of that. The strategic plan states to realize the Elmhurst experience, our facilities must match our high educational aspirations. The Science and Health Initiative will provide the resources for a new science center on the Elmhurst campus that will stand as an elegant affirmation of the college's commitment to advancing knowledge and enhancing life. The current facility, built in 1966, is dated almost by definition. The new science center will reflect the forward-looking spirit of the faculty and students it's designed to serve. It will serve as the vital center of the college's intellectual life and as the cornerstone of the future Elmhurst. My vision of the future, which is shared by those at the college uh, and everyone who embraces the strategic plan, is a vision of integrated learning in which students will learn uh, about nursing, but they'll also learn about the hard sciences and psychology. Uh, they will work toward professional futures through engagement with our Center for the Health Professions. So the building is not just going to be updated. The model of teaching is going to be updated. So there'll be an integration of teaching around the hard sciences of physics, biology, and chemistry. There'll be an integration of nursing skills for those in that program and an integration of reflection on career paths and engagement in career paths through the Center on the Health Professions. Built thoughtfully in phases, the new Science Center will add classrooms and dramatically increase the space devoted to teaching labs and student-faculty research. It will include a state-of-the-art nursing simulation laboratory, providing students with hands-on experiences that bridge the gap between classroom work and clinical practice. It will be fully equipped with advanced technology for both research and teaching, and will provide space for the Center for the Health Professions near the students it's designed to serve. All of the academic space will be designed for active learning, enabling students to move readily back and forth between lecture and lab, even in a single teaching period. Elmhurst has a reputation for being a great place to do uh, science teaching, a great place to take, take science classes and so forth, but we think this new facility will kind of bump us up yet another level. The architectural plan for the new Science Center advances the college's commitment to develop the campus as a model of sustainable design. The college plans to seek LEED certification for the building from the United States Green Building Council, making the Science Center the second LEED certified building on campus. In a competitive environment for higher education, the new Science Center will enable the college to maintain a cutting-edge curriculum and engage the most inspired students and accomplished faculty. Through their enduring work, it will advance the public good in several concrete ways. First, the Center will allow the college to help address the shortage of research scientists and healthcare professionals 
in Illinois and across the nation. Moreover, the scientists, doctors, nurses, and other health professionals who begin their careers at Elmhurst will add a great deal more than sheer numbers to their professions. There's a significant nursing shortage in the United States. We don't want to just pump nurses out and fill the need because the numbers need to be filled. But we also need quality nurses. And a quality nurse uh, is made here at Elmhurst through the liberal education we, we get from all the di different disciplines of psychology, sociology, and everything else. But also we need a hard science foundation because diseases, we're discovering more about what a disease is. We're discovering more about how to heal and cure people with diseases. And that requires science and uh, technology. The reason we are advancing is because of technology. And we need a science center that has the latest technology so that we can prepare students to not just be a nurse that will fill in that quota, but a quality nurse that knows how to treat this patient using the latest and greatest in medical technology. And an improved science center would serve that need. The new center also will enable Elmhurst to help increase the number of scientists and healthcare professionals from underrepresented groups. Elmhurst serves an increasingly diverse student population. Over the last decade, the number of new students of color has increased by about 50 percent. The new strategic plan calls for the college to continue to intentionally expand the ethnic diversity of its incoming class. The research has shown that students um, who go into the sciences, who are women or who come from minority groups, come disproportionately from small liberal arts colleges because it is this small liberal arts college experience that allows students um, who otherwise don't necessarily feel comfortable in a science setting to feel supported and mentored. The new Science Center will even benefit science education in our primary and secondary schools. This is another urgent need of our society. In 2006, an international survey ranked the science literacy of high school students in 30 developed nations. The United States ranked 21st out of 30. And over the next decade, the U.S. faces a shortage of 283,000 high school science teachers. There's that shortage of science teachers, all right? And so in um, producing more science teachers, we need to have good science um, teachers to begin with. I think that I l look at the new Science Center as an opportunity for this campus to improve overall the teaching of science and also um, the education of future science teachers. In a time of constant challenge and accelerating change, our nation's demand for well-trained teachers, scientists, and health professionals is certain to expand exponentially. For 140 years, Elmhurst College has provided our society with scholars and practitioners who think creatively, work collaboratively, and thoughtfully link their lives of service to the needs of the larger world. The Science and Health Initiative will enable the college to sustain its excellence and expand its reach. It will empower the generations still destined to experience Elmhurst to learn more deeply and to dream more broadly than their predecessors could imagine. It's been my dream uh, to become a doctor, but just through my experiences at, El at Elmhurst College, through the um, interdisciplinary um, studies and the approach that the college has, the science mixed with the um, social sciences and the humanities, that it, I feel like that has um, really allowed me to kind of focus on international medicine as um, a, a way for my future. And um, it's always been personally important to me to kind of live a life that, that allows me to pass on the kindness that I've seen. And I have seen numerous kindnesses and, uh, from the professors and from the staff that are at Elmhurst College. And um, I look forward to be able to go out into the world in my future as I serve those who are underserved and pass on what I have gotten here at Elmhurst College uh, through my work as a doctor. This college has a history of giving back to society. Our graduates, when I think of the ones from science in the past, are all over out there doing fantastic things. We have physicians and nurses and uh, former students all over the country doing their thing, utilizing their science background and kind of this philosophy you develop here at Elmhurst College and putting it to good use to help a bigger cause.